All right, so we're out on Cleveland and we're looking in from the street view of the place. First, I want to kind of show you the street. Uh, the street's all paved with paver bricks. It's a really cool, well-maintained street, very quiet. Um, then I'm going to scroll over here. You see the house, gorgeous bell tower on the top. And we're going to walk up and talk to Tom and Monica. So guys, thank you. Thanks for inviting. So I got one question. This, the roof lines on this place are incredible. Has the roof been, been touched? Brand new, completely down to the sub laminate, all brand new. Wow, that must have been expensive. That, yes, and all tuck pointed. Wow. This place is solid. So all the brickworks tug pointed, brand new roof on this place. You got it. Fantastic. And these doors are amazing. Tell me about the doors. We put these in too. It had sort of a plain old church door with no windows. Make it a little more friendly. Nice. Yeah. Nice soffit up here, covered porch. Yeah, All right, let's on walk on in. in here. So this is the the main uh, entryway, and it, we've got a real nice staircase up here to the left. That's right. And a very generously sized walk-in closet. One thing you won't be short on here is storage. Wow. All the way back. It's like a room to itself. Lots of storage right off the front. That's a coat closet. You'll find that everywhere in this home. The wood and uh, banisters and everything are amazing. Is that all brand new? That's all brand new, milled to fit with the architecture of the home. Very nice. But this is the fun part. Wow. You walk into this. How high are these ceilings? Amazing. Original fixtures we had reworked up in the And then what do we have up here? Has this all been added? This that's brand new. This room. That's a balcony, and we'll go up there at some point. That's where I have my art studio. Oh, wonderful! So we'll go check that out. And then this room down here. This is a, actually a bedroom. This is actually a bedroom. It has a huge walk-in closet, um, solid wooden accordion doors that close off. And plenty of room for uh, hanging out as well as using it as a bedroom. So this is our first stained glass uh, stained glass window. We got bookshelf, furniture, and all the furnishings that we see are going to be included in the house. That's right. Even that beautiful piano. Even the piano. Take a look at that. And it's so tastefully decorated. It looks wonderful. Are these the original church pews? Yes, we wanted to keep a little bit of the original flair. And my husband had the idea that there should be sort of a live uh, a theater in the middle. So we included a couple of rows and then our comfortable seating in the front for our TV karaoke stage. So, Tom, out of curiosity, how big is that TV? 72 inches. 72 inches. Now, when I saw that TV, I thought it was about a 40 or 50 inch TV. So you can kind of see everything's to scale in this house. It's it's hard to imagine how big things are. That that TV is a 72 inch TV. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go to the kitchen, which is amazing. So tell me about the renovations that you, you did. Well, obviously this isn't even renovated. This is all new. But but where did this all come from? hammered crap sink over here and a full marble sink in the back. We wanted it to feel open to the rest of the place, not build any structural walls. And by putting this huge butcher block on an angle, when I'm in there cooking, everything is connected. And so it's a great place to have a party because you can just spread out all around the kitchen into the dining area. Now, top of the line appliances, um, you know, a hidden refrigerator, a monogram refrigerator. So, and this was all custom built and designed by somebody from Chicago? That's right. Wonderful. That's right. 
Uh, we did get creative with the lighting because the ceiling's too high to have a traditional form of lighting, so I had this crazy idea to incorporate this sort of exterior lamppost in the that's, that's brilliant. I didn't even think about why you would have that, but yeah, it's where else would you hang it from? Now I see you have this uh, ductless air conditioner. Does this cool the whole upper unit or the whole, the whole main, main space? Main space? In. It's a 36,000 BTU air conditioner, brand new, very efficient. Um, it keeps the whole place comfortable. Although I have to say, when it's a beautiful day outside, we open these windows and have cross ventilation and it's lovely as well. Excellent. Yeah, they all have screens. They have screens. Oh yeah, so you can even open open the windows and not have bugs coming in. All right, why don't we go upstairs and check out the, the artist studio. So Shall the, I demonstrate? Yes, please. Wow. That's amazing. So you can actually still get up and see the bell if you yeah. if you go, go up those stairs. And this is a little temporary uh, stairway that we built because our vision before we decided we needed to move for our job was to create another room up there where the bell is. And then on the balcony up above, if anyone wanted to spend the money, it would be a gorgeous terrace with a view of the city and the lake. Excellent. So there's still room to expand without room changing the... Here and make it more special. Excellent. All right. Wow, look at that light. Is that the original? It is. All rewired, all safe. More windows up here. So you got a more stained glass lots of light up here you've got a whole nother this is my, sink this is my art studio so i needed to have water um, you could use this for a lot of different spaces it'd be a great playroom it'd be a great just a kind of extra studio for somebody i'm just going to kind of show the view this is what you overlook from the studio so talk about an inspiring view when you're working up here yeah all right Let's go and see the other other bedroom and and we'll show the lower level. Mm -hmm. Just keeps getting better. Stained glass alone would cost a fortune to get it today. I mean, just one window, and this is. And a beautiful marble, tumbled marble, oversized shower. There's closet areas here in the vestibule area. There's a closet, big shoe closet over here, hanging clothes. And then this room. Another huge. It's her bathroom. Walk-in closet. Three tiers high because you know you can never have enough room for clothes. Wow, look at this bathroom. Look at that seating area. Huge tub. Mm -hmm. It's a great place in the morning to put on makeup, get ready. 
When there's a little bit of glam, there's sparkle in the floor, a little sparkle in the chandelier. Did not spare any expense with this bathroom, heated that's floor. for sure. Wow, heated floor too. Yeah. Now this is a bedroom. Look at this, look at this ceiling. Yeah, it's, you've got to you've got to be here to appreciate it. And that is gold I understand there's actually gold paint and or actually gold uh, chips in that paint, right? Yeah, it's true metal. And that's another original light. It is. Did you have to have it refinished or was that? Oh yeah, it was like a jigsaw puzzle because we reconfigured the room and we had to have crafts and kind of put it back together so it worked. Wow, they did such a wonderful job. Everything flows really smoothly yeah. now. And there's even cold lighting up at the top. I see it. It all In lit the up. Evening, that's just a beautiful glow against the gold ceiling. That's incredible. And then every bedroom needs to have a laundry room. And this one's generously sized. So we got a washer and dryer, a sink, plenty of space here. And then exit off to the garage and the patio in the backyard. Okay, excellent. And we've done a loop. Here we go. We're back into the space. Back into the main house. From this perspective, you can see where we were in the balcony. Um, all three sides are flanked by that beautiful stained glass artwork. All right. All this wood is, is also original. All right, let's go to the lower level, yeah. All right. Here we are. Wow, another fully open concept. This this is like a whole nother house down here. It absolutely is. So the main area, of course, we have our gym you just saw. Um, I do my yoga and my Zumba in this area in the middle. Uh, we have an office area, a living room area. It's kind of, again, loft style living. Um, we have a master suite on this level with a bathroom and a walk-in closet. And we can see the, the brick construction here. This, this building is truly built like a tank. It truly is. There are three exits from this lower level so it is completely safe for fire code. Um, a big walk-in room in there too so certainly comfortable living full bath down here another shower mm -hmm. and then let's look at the other bathroom and then the kitchen because there's a full kitchen down here too Wow, it's very comfortable down here. It doesn't feel like it's a basement at all with the big windows. That's true. And we have central air, so it's cool down here. This is another bathroom. 
Another I shower. Want, yeah, I wanted it to be a generous shower with a zero gravity entrance. Wow. So super comfortable. If someone has issues stepping into a tub, they won't have a problem there. And again, all the furniture and all the bars and everything that we see here, everything's going to stay. There's a lot of pancakes there. You could. And the original built-in. We had all this service too. Yes. We had everything serviced and checked. So everything's all working and everything's how it should. Yes. It's working beautifully. Two sinks in here, the whole work. Yeah, ready for a party down here also. That is excellent. And a surprising amount of natural light. Yeah. Especially for a basement, you know, you wouldn't Tall need... ceilings, natural light. All right, let's 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 take a walk outside, and I just want to show that fenced-in yard in the garage. Absolutely. There's an extra oh, off the corner. I forgot about this. Yeah, I forgot about this room. There's, it's like a maze in here. It is. So we wrapped around, and now there's a little, like, workshop room here. Yeah. Some extra storage. It could be converted, but we don't need the space, so we use it for storage. All right, let's go outside. Out of curiosity, what does your normal uh, electric and gas bill run? Well, I did a little test, and I ran it for the last two years and mm -hmm. did an average. And it's right around four hundred dollars. Wow. That's electric and gas. That's not for the, bad for this four, amount of space. No. That's very efficient. Very efficient system. Ooh, it's bright out here. So this is our grilling area and patio, and our garage is attached to it. And it's a one car garage, but we also have a two car parking area in front of the garage. And there's also street parking in the front, oh, yeah. correct? Plenty of street parking. But it's nice to have privacy back this here. This looks much nicer with an umbrella. Well, but we took it to Florida. <laughs> and then, let's see, this is our grassy part of the yard. Oh, yeah, this would be perfect for a dog to let him run around in here or kids to play in. Absolutely. You can put a little table out here. 